For a career that started in the leap year of 1968 and ended in the leap year of 2012, I haven't leaped very far. <laughs> I'm still here. Walter Cronkite said a career isn't a success unless you make a difference. He concluded that he did not. I know he did, and I hope that I did. If not in my profession, at least made a difference in your life. I see this job as public service, informing you so you can be a better citizen, voter, consumer, patient, parent. I also hope I made a difference in the lives of my fellow journalists. I never preached to them. I tried to lead by example and share experiences because I too was learning every day of my career. It has been doubly rewarding showing you on television the news event and experiencing it live myself. I thank God and I thank you for keeping me here all these years so I could continue to do what I really love to do, deliver the news to you. Right now, Ed Murrow would probably say good night and good luck. Walter Cronkite would say, and that's the way it is, and Dan Rather would say courage. I think I'll just say goodbye for now. To adopt a revolutionary new lifestyle in which the world grows larger, not smaller. When a little boy discovered part of the ransom money on this Columbia River beach, it changed the theories about where Cooper came down. Mount St. Helens, the legend come alive. Until today, the volcano inside Mount St. Helens was a spectacle. A shooting began about 2 o'clock this afternoon, and the hostage drama ended about 6.30 this evening. If the river somehow were to come over that wall, it could knock Omsi out of business for from four to six months. A country whose history spans a chasm of time 5,000 years wide, with unparalleled mysteries and antiquity. This is Mike Donahue, Channel 6 News at the State Capitol. Surrounded by family and friends, I'd like to introduce President and General Manager of COIN Television, Mr. Tim Perry. Mike, on behalf of all of us here at COIN TV, it is my privilege and honor to present you with uh, a very appropriate uh, form of gratitude and affection. Since you are the gold standard for journalism in Portland, we're presenting you with the golden mic, which will always represent the highest standard of journalistic achievement here at COIN. And if, you, if I may, I would like to share the inscription with the people that you've served for 44 years. It reads, our deepest appreciation for your enormous journalistic contributions, role model professionalism, and incomparable commitment to COIN TV is surpassed only by our gratitude that you so generously represented this television station with your sterling character. Mm. With great love, admiration, and respect, your Coin TV family. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. I can't say anything.